today reaction video that we are getting into is called boyfriend loses half of his body what his girlfriend does next is crazy you know what i'm saying and i'm just let y'all know something right now man one like equals one prayer you know man you'll never know what will happen to you in life you can just be thinking your life is so planned out and then the next day i'm telling y'all bro so much could just happen you know what i'm saying like like you could just be thinking like okay today in my whole life like i'm i'm, I'm gonna be good you know but the fact that this man lost half of his life and what his girlfriend did is honestly crazy you know but let's go get to this right now man like i said man one like equals one prayer for him and his future family or his family and anybody involved in his life man let's get it Night fam, would you still love your partner if they lost half of their body? I am about to tell you one of the most unique love stories in the world. The young couple you see right here are Lauren and Sabia. A very tragic accident happened to Lauren that would change both their lives forever. Because what was expected to be just a normal day at Lauren's construction wharf ended up with his body being pinned down on the ground by a forklift. Lauren saw his arms and legs being crushed. His pelvic area, like his pelvic bone, his hip bones, everything was just crushed. They didn't know how to save him. They decided the only way they could possibly save Lauren's life was to totally remove the lower half of his body. They told us that without those bones, he probably would never be able to sit up again. He'd be bed bound for the rest of his life. This sounds tragic, but there was one beautiful and such a strong thing Lauren and Sabia had that changed the entire course of their life. And that thing is called real love waking up after the accident and seeing that she was still kissing me on the forehead and saying i love you really just brought me to terms that this isn't the end wow. to keep fighting i guess lauren proved that having this ability doesn't mean you can't love or be loved his body may be half but his love for sabia was whole she never left lauren's sight she didn't leave him when he started needing someone to actually lift him up she didn't leave him every time he needed to change his clothes she didn't leave him when he had to go back and forth to the hospital she didn't let him feel the pain all on his own this was pain 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 go away you're cute <laughs> i'm sorry you're hurting so bad tonight you're beautiful believe me if she wouldn't have stayed by my side and i would have woken up without her i probably would not have survived she is definitely the reason that i survived there was never a time lauren showed any sign of giving up nor did sabia because for them all they needed was each other i'm happy that i got a second chance with lauren by my side and that i didn't lose him just look at the way they look into each other's eyes and listen to the comforting words they always tell each other. There are plenty of times where we just lay together and cry and break down, but we're able to bounce back from it. How do you stay so positive and happy, babe? I still have you. We still have a life to live together. It takes strong love to stick around like that. And if for some reason you are still skeptical about their love, two years after the accident, they decided to tie the knot. I love you, Sabia. I love you today, tomorrow, for the rest of our lives. When I had a small taste of what life without you, I knew in that moment I never wanted to face the trials that life would present without you by my side. I promise to forever love you, and no matter how rough or scary or hard life gets, I will stand by your side and lift you up when you need me to. Every moment they spent together was incredibly beautiful. We're having to transport me in a wagon. If I didn't have her, I'd wouldn't have a life, so I'm most thankful for her. I'm thankful that we still have a shot at the future. 
Earlier, I asked you, would you still love your partner if they lost half of their body? Because when you can imagine yourself going through the same thing Sabia and Lauren went through and thinking of never wanting to leave your partner's side at their lowest, that is when you know this is truly a real love. Man, that is that is real. I ain't finna lie, like this video touched me like in a different type of way, you know, and, and that honestly is a good question, you know, um, and that's just a good question for y'all as well. You know, would you love your partner if you can only love half of them? You know, uh, I feel like that I will love my partner like no other, you know, and me and her talk about that a lot, man, like I honestly believe in that, you know, sticking together through sickness and health. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what, it's honestly nothing tragic that could happen with her that would make me leave her. You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of people don't, you know, don't 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 really think like that. A lot of people would think like, I mean, if he lost his legs today, I'm gone. You know, if he if he got, you know, let's say shot in the head and he can't, you know, think for himself like I will be gone, you know, and I mean, her did have that conversation, you know, just as far as like what could possibly happen to both of us if, um. You know, like what what could possibly happen to both of us if or to either one of us, if we were put in a situation of, you know, life or death, you know, and I told her on my end, like if I became like a vegetable and she would have to take her and me my whole life that I would want to leave, you know, and I would want her to find like love, you know, and that wouldn't just be with, you know, with me, you know, and she like, honestly, I could never do that. Like no matter if you're in the a state of vegetable or not, like you will always be mine until like, you know, you leave this earth. And even if then like you will still be mine, you know? Uh, and I told her like, even like, and she like, even if I, you know, do find love again, like you will always still be mine, you know? And it's vice versa. Like no matter where she was at in life, like I couldn't feel right. Like if she just not herself anymore for, from a tragic accident and I'm just going around trying to find and mess with women because she not her, like, no, nah, you know, and people really will live like that and live off of people disability checks. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's honestly not what we are at in this relationship at all. I feel like every time when me and her talk about just anything revolving about sickness and health, that we are here, you know, beyond sickness and health. You know, we stick it to we sticking with each other through anything, you know, and that's what I got in in this type of situation, you know, and I feel like honestly, like. I'm trying to put myself in his shoes, you know, and, you know, my woman in her shoes. Uh, if I was in his shoes, yeah, I probably would have gave up. You know, I honestly wouldn't even know how to deal with myself for the rest of my life with knowing that, like, I don't even have, like, nothing lower. Like, I don't have no no genitals, so I got to, like, probably have a, a, a bag to pee. I probably got to have, like, a poop bag, too, you know, like, and she would have to take care of me in my entire life. You know, like I, w I wouldn't know how to live like I wouldn't know how to live with myself. I wouldn't be able to be acceptive of myself, you know, if situations came like that, you know, but she told me like, you know, you would never be alone. Like whatever you're going through, like, you know, we will go through this together, you know, and I feel like that's possibly possibly what will keep me going, you know, and for him to say, like, you know, woke up and seeing her kissing me on my forehead and her next to my side is what kept me alive. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that would have been the same case with me because if I would have woke up and seen nobody on my side, you know, I probably would have just wanted to go. You know, I would have asked, would have asked, you know, the guy to just open up a room for me. You know, like, like I'm coming, you know, like it's my time, you know. And I honestly do feel like that, you know, she is a real one for that. You know, she stuck to him. They got married and hopefully they can have some type of kids. They can figure out some way where they can have some type of kids, you know, like, like something, something. I mean, his. I think his his things is gone, so it probably wouldn't even happen. So we probably have to do some type of uh, you know, some type of uh, some type of way for him to have uh, for for them to have kids. Was just it wouldn't probably be like IVF, but it wouldn't be like through him. But they, you get what I'm saying, like to raise a family or something like that, you know. Um, like I said, man, just hey, yeah, one like equals one prayer for this man, you know. And I say like this is honestly a beautiful sight to see in. Uh, for even the even the, even his girlfriend to stick through something like that and work with him, pick him up, change him, and just 
be a support system to not just she not living with one person anymore. She's basically living two lives because she got to help him do everything, you know, and I know they got to be a big, a big adjustment for him, at least in her, too. You know what I'm saying? But that's true love. And it just shows that, like, man, anything happened around this world, you know, like like least to your significant other that some people will honestly stick through it with them. You know, they wouldn't leave you. They want I'm out of here. They they go stick through it through whatever. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, make sure y'all boys enjoyed this reaction video that you smash the like button, comment and subscribe for your boy, man. One like equals one prayer, you know, and pray for this man's family. And y'all let me know down below. How would y'all be if your significant other have got in this situation? You know, would you leave? You know, what would you stay? Would you help? Would you still love them beyond measures? Like, like, what would you do in this situation? You know, let me know. And uh, yeah, comment it down below, man. I'm going to probably uh, comment my thoughts and pen. Well, I already told you my thoughts and pen, so it's going to be up on y'all, man. And I'm honestly eager to see what y'all have to say, you know. But let's get to it, man. I love y'all, boys. And we out. Ski -ya!